this is a very interesting um, and promising new combination of the drug Venetoclax or ABT199, which is an anti-apoptotic drug. So essentially it tells the cells um, to die, any cell that overexpresses this um, BCL2. So it's a BCL2 inhibitor, it, it tells the cell to, to, to die. And what we are seeing in monotherapy is that there's great activity in patients in the bone marrow, in the lymph nodes, and in the peripheral blood. And what we will be presenting in combination with rituximab is that there's no increased signals of any side effects. Um, and on the contrary, there's a synergistic effect. The, the responses are um, much more uh, remarkable if you see the waterfall plots on all those three compartments in the blo blood, the bone marrow, and the lymph nodes. It's kind of like a box. It's very impressive. And the first time that we're seeing achievement of MRD negativity, which is significant, and we will see the data that shows that there's some patients that have stopped resp um, taking the drug and of ABT199 once they achieve MRT negativity, and of the drug, they are still in remission without evidence of progression. So that's something that we haven't seen before, and that could eventually, at some point, point us towards the, 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 uh, you know, the goal of a cure. You know, if you can actually get someone off any therapy for a little bit of time, even if it's a holiday, you know, our patients will welcome it. Um, the data needs to mature much more, but it's, it's very interesting just to say, you know, that now with an oral agent, which has been proven to be safe if you take the good precautions of, you know, making sure that there's no um, evidence of tumor lysis or electrolyte abnormalities that could put you at a risk for tumor lysis, um, you can get a patient into MRD negativity, which we haven't been successful with in the past. And so it brings up the whole point of what will be the future combination that will be the best to achieve this so that our patients may get off these drugs. But like I said, as, um, with other colleagues in the field, Sometimes we feel, do we really need to achieve MRD negativity? Because if you're feeling well and you are on a drug that makes you feel fine and you have no other side effects, do you really want to um, increase the po or potentiate the possibility of a side effect by increasing, you know, taking another drug or would you just let it be? So these are all questions that are important for the future, but in our minds, we all think that chemotherapy will may, um, may change to the point that it may go to, you know, as a salvage instead of like what we do nowadays, which is frontline therapy. So we don't know. These are all things that are moving and to me in the right direction because these drugs seem to be uh, more safer, you know, and possibly in certain subpopulations much more effective, like 17P deletion. Um, we know that chemotherapy doesn't work in patients with 17P deletion, and not only we have ibrutinib and adalalacib that have shown clinical activity, we also see at this year's ASH that venetoclax has also activity in 17P deletion. So the future is really good, you know. We are, um, we are in the right path. <laughs>